Just wandering around the village with my Hero of the Village buff. Everybody just woke up because after that raid that I just finished, I went and had a sleep in the bed, so that triggered a day cycle. And you can see that they give pretty good discounts. And they also throw stuff towards you, give you gifts. Oh. Cooked rabbit. I'm not anywhere near a desert, so I haven't had rabbit, so that's why I don't have that recipe already. It's amazing how cheap you get stuff at this moments like this. 33 emeralds. No, how about just one? Get a fire protection too, which of course you buy several of these, and you can get a fire high level fire protection in no time. And in previous videos, I've always said, yeah, for the cost of a pumpkin, you can get enchanted weapons and armor. That's because the farmer has a discount as well. One pumpkin gets you one emerald. <laughs> My inventory is already full just from walking around amongst these guys. Everybody loves the hero of the village. Most of it's just junk. Not you wouldn't want to keep hardly any of it, but I won't have that many horses. There's no need to have that many saddles. I've almost got my village fully populated. This is the largest uh, research lab I've built. It is, as you can see, mostly populated with librarians. But it wasn't far into the game. I have no idea which librarians which, but where I got a. Uh, Amending that respiration's handy, especially if you're going to do a lot of stuff underwater. Luck of the sea, that's that can be stacked. <laughs> Again, one emerald and a book, and you can buy a bookshelf from them. So I literally buy bookshelves, bust them up, convert them into books, and sell their books back to them. It's super cheap. Mending, this was my big one. That saves me so much time playing hardcore now that I can... Because I have to do a lot of mob farming anyway. And it's actually just off my village. Where the mob farm is. So I can go and mend all my uh, items. As you can see, I've got a sword, a pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel. All maxed out. Efficiency 5, I'm breaking and fortune. That gets me a lot of flint, by the way. I'm breaking... <coughs> Efficiency 5, Mending, and Fortune 3. That's good for busting up the, uh... I was using this to, uh, uh... Recover the melons. But now I actually have an axe with Silk Touch. So I use the axe with Silk Touch to do melons now. And, you know what, I can hear... There is a zombie villager in amongst these guys. Which is unfortunate because I don't have my potions converted yet. Which is the whole reason this whole raid sequence in the previous video got triggered. Because I wanted to have... I'm just going to kill them all because even the zombie villager, he will disapparate when I get more than 20 or 30 squares away from him. So he's gone regardless anyway. And I got to go back to the village in order to build my potions. So I'll end this video and I'm going to get my... Splash Potions of Weakness done up, and I can finish. I think I've only got six more beds available in this particular room. So I'll get those villagers created. And then I'll focus on my end game sequence and try to beat the end dragon.